Anyone who travels frequently across time zones knows how debilitating jet lag can be, not to mention how it can cut into a European vacation. But a new study shows there may be a way to avoid jet lag altogether. And here to tell us about it is WSJ health reporter Sumathi Reddy. Welcome, Sumathi. Great to see Thanks, you. Me too. So tell us a little bit more about this study. Researchers used flashes of light. Is that right? Yes. So um, they, they did very brief, kind of like the flash of a camera, um, flashes every 10 seconds for an hour. It was the second hour of sleep. While the participants were in deep sleep? No, actually for this particular study, they woke them up just to make sure that the light was in the right dose. Okay. But they previously proved that you can do this while someone's asleep and it won't disrupt their sleep. So they can be fast asleep and they just flash the light in front of their mm -hmm. eyes. And that's enough to make the subject think what? Or their circadian rhythms to think what? It, it was enough to delay their circadian rhythm by a couple of hours. Incredible. Yeah. And so how they just had to do this for one night? Just one night, one hour, yes. So Amazing. now they're testing sort of, okay, what would happen if we do this for two nights? Because if you're traveling, from this was this was to be for like New York to California, right? If you're traveling to Europe or you know crossing more time zones. How long do we have to do this for? Do they know we'll yet if it would work with a longer time zone, or how? I think days? it would, they but I think they have to like, sort of tweak it and see like, okay, you know, do you need to do it for two hours, or right. is it more of a matter of doing it for two or three nights beforehand? Or now it sounds fantastic, but it doesn't quite sound like it's ready for a practical application <laughs> just yet, right? Well, believe it or not, they're actually working with a Silicon Valley. Um, tech firm and they're working on developing a mask, a sleeping mask, which they're already testing in the lab right now. And they claim it would be as intrusive, you know, not, not very intrusive and they'd have LED lights over the eyes and you could use your iPhone to sort of program it. So you'd have an app that you could preset the yeah. time the light flashes would take place. Exactly. And they wouldn't wake you up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it sounds brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so now in the absence of that, what advice does it, do doctors now have for okay. minimizing jet lag? So exposure to continuous light is sort of the current therapy. So that could be like sitting in front of an, an electric lamp for an hour before you travel, which isn't that practical for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Or avoiding sunlight when you get to the, your destination, depending on which way you're traveling. Right. Or, or actually, you know, going into the sunlight. Um, and the other thing that's often recommended is low-dose melatonin, which some experts say is good to do before and during travel. Now, I thought it was fascinating from your article reading that it's harder to travel east than west. Yeah, yeah. So, our, you know, we all have this sort of 24-hour, roughly 24-hour circadian rhythm, which affects everything, sleep, metabolism, all sorts of health things. And... We're naturally sort of phase delayed, so it's easier to, to travel that way than it's it is. It's easier to, to stay up late and sleep late exactly. than it is to wake up early and go to sleep. For most early. of us. For there most are, of there us. are those weird, you know, <laughs> yeah. morning type morning people. people. Yeah. That makes sense. That's why returning to your your returning from Europe is always so much easier yeah. than going. So this particular experiment was going the easier way. So one um, outside person I spoke with right. said, Well, they need to prove that it can also work going the other way. Well, I cannot wait for that app and that face mask yeah. to be ready. It sounds great. Sumathi so, Reddy, thank you so much for that. Thanks.